All right, this is just a quick overview on how to on the swoosh pack. Um, once you download and unzip the file, you'll get a folder kind of like this. Uh, Illustrator, EPS, and Photoshop documents. The first thing I do though is open up the font download links uh, text document. Inside there you'll see the links to each of the three different fonts that I used. Just uh, copy and paste that into your browser and download it. Uh, one thing to note before you use it for anything commercial, make sure that you read the license and verify that it's good to go for commercial use. I believe it is, but it's worth a check on your end. Um, so first thing, I'm going to open up the Photoshop document. And inside there, it's uh, three folders, basically, three main folders, small, medium, and large. Small is kind of like four-letter text. Uh, medium is more like six-letter text. And then large is, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus, whatever. Just pick one that most closely suits the length of the word you're going to use. And then inside there, you have the three different fonts in separate folders. Uh, Mission Script, Great Vibes, and Lobster. Just pick whichever one you think you want to go with. And then inside there, I left smart objects of the swooshes. So you can kind of resize them as big or little as you want, and you shouldn't lose any quality. But in any case, pick the swoosh that you think will work best for what you're trying to achieve. And then just click on the text layer and change it to say whatever it is you want, in this case walrus. And then just kind of move around the swoosh, get it to the way you want. It's going to change a bit depending on what the text is. Uh, you can either resize it, you know, like the whole thing like this, or sometimes I actually like to just do it horizontally and only horizontally. Uh, but you can play around, get what you want. And then if you really want to get picky, I just uh, rasterize the type and then merge these two layers together. And then if you wanted to really get in there and clean up any weird spots, you can do that manually. Uh, with an S, it's pretty easy, but if it has a tail on the end of the letter, sometimes you got to adjust it a bit so it lines up perfectly. In any case, on to the Illustrator document. Inside the Illustrator document, where's my layers? Go to Window, Layers. All right. We have three, three layers, basically. This top one is just descriptive, so I locked it. Uh, you shouldn't need to edit it. You can delete it if you don't want it. Um, then there's type and swoosh, so they're all separate. I usually like to lock whatever I'm not working on just so I don't accidentally click the swoosh or the type when I'm trying to move things around. But in any case, uh, just pick what you want, depending on what you're trying to achieve here. So let's go with this one. And then if you hold down Alt, you can just drag it, and it'll automatically duplicate it for you if you want to save a little bit of time. Dingy ding. Um, anyways, once you get in there, same thing as the Photoshop document, basically. Just you know, go in there, change it to say whatever it is you want. Why is that happening? I must have hit Alt. So in this case, Walrus again. And then you can kind of lock the type layer if you want, and go in and zoom in and move the swoosh so it gives you the look you're looking for. And once again, if you want, you know, you just drag this out or resize it. What I tend to like to do, let's actually end the type in something like an H, so it'll have a tail. This way you can kind of see, move the swoosh to make it line up there pretty good. And just a tip that I like to use a lot is go into Object, and then Expand, Fill and Stroke. And then in your Pathfinder, if you don't have a Pathfinder, just go to Window, Pathfinder right there. Uh, hit, hit the Merge right here. It's the two boxes overlapping each other. And then unlock the Type and uh, Create Outlines, and then just merge these two together. So it's all one solid path. And then if you hit B to select the brush, well actually, once you have the type selected, hit B to select the brush. And then when you hold down Alt, it'll bring up the Smooth tool, which just run it over there a few times till it looks the way you want it to, and it will give you really smooth transitions. It might take a bit of playing around. But if you ever end up with like weird hangings or like a little bit of jagginess, I usually just like to merge them together, hit the Smooth tool. It does a good job. But that's about it. It should be pretty simple. Uh, a lot of adjustability. Just go in and make the swoosh happen. All right, thanks.